Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in today's video I will be discussing what I thought of the uh, highly anticipated uh, sequel of the summer, Space Jam, A New Legacy. I gotta say, it was pretty good. I didn't love it like I loved Space Jam, but I liked this one a whole heck of a lot. It was definitely an ensemble film and it had a lot of colorful, exciting energy and action to it and a huge ensemble cast of characters. Before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned that like with most of my film reviews, this is a spoiler filled film review. So if you have not seen Space Jam, A New Out Legacy, and you would like to, whether it's at home on HBO Max or in the theaters like where I just came from, you might not want to keep watching or listening as I will be going into, excuse me, spoilery details, plot stuff, all that jazz. So you have been warned, spoiler warning is issued. Let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, <coughs> excuse me, did not really care for that opening song. The opening sequence was fine, you know, highlighting LeBron James' real life uh, career and life, you know, much like the opening did for Michael Jordan. But I didn't really care for the song. Nowhere near as catchy as the Space Jam song uh, from the first film, of course, but that's okay. You know what? This movie was, I think, made for the fans of Space Jam, and I would hope and assume that a lot of them were satisfied, but at the same time, we've got to remember that this movie was made for a new generation, a new audience of kids to fall in love with a real life famous NBA player playing with a bunch of cartoon characters against um, a silly enemy. You know, for us it was Space Jam, for kids nowadays it's Space Jam A New Legacy. And the player has changed from Michael Jordan to LeBron James. Char the other characters have stayed the same for the most part with a similar plot and setting and whatnot. But uh, I gotta say, I uh, I still really liked it. It was bigger in scope and scale. You know, I love that they got a human audience uh, uh, for the tunes and for LeBron to, you know, uh, cheer them on. And I also love just the overall enormous, massive inclusion of tons of classic and beloved other Warner Brothers characters, uh, j such as uh, Pennywise here. We saw him in the background right behind Don Cheadle's character, ALG, uh, AG Rhythm Algorithm, I think. <laughs> I liked I liked Don Cheadle. He was great in his role. Everybody did a good job, even LeBron. I thought LeBron did a fine job. I liked how he played the somewhat conflicted father. I also loved how there were parallels that both he and his son were picking up on by the end of the film, that they were both much more on the same page and that much closer together. But the movie was fun and exciting and energetic, although I just felt like it wasn't as funny as Space Jam. Like Space Jam has moments to this day that make me laugh out loud. This one made me chuckle at parts, like Don Cheadle's character had a funny line about LeBron leaving all the different teams that he mentioned and cited. That was pretty good. But unfortunately, as I saw scenes unfolding in the film that I saw teased and previewed in other trailers I've seen for this movie, it feels like they, show, they showed off or gave away some of the best or funnier moments from the film. But that's okay, because I still liked it for what it was. It was still pretty entertaining, and not at all did I feel bored or restless or I thought to myself, let's hurry this up now, I want to go home. That wasn't my thought at all. I really did enjoy it, and I hope families and kids can enjoy this movie after what has been a very difficult and challenging year for everybody and people, especially families who want to get back to the movies with their kids. I think this is a great movie or a great way to do that is, you know, for parents who enjoyed Space Jam as children can now take their own kids to see another Space Jam film. I think this is the movie made for those kind of families, you know, and I don't even have kids of my own, but just as a Space Jam fan, I enjoyed and appreciated this film for what it was. I didn't take it too seriously, and I don't think anybody should uh, regarding whatever kind of movie it is, whether it's animation or family-friendly like this one or something more serious and that's still live action. Just have fun when you're at the movies, guys. Life is uh, too short, as this past year has showed a lot of us. But anyway, the point is, is that I liked it a lot, even though I felt some bits and the fun humorous moments were unfortunately revealed or shown in the film. I mean, in the trailers and uh, teaser spots, but I still really liked it. You know, I loved how all the Looney Tunes had found themselves new homes and franchises to make their, like, sneak their way into. <laughs> I also uh, really liked 
Uh, I really enjoyed the DC World sequence, how they had the same animation style of just like Superman and Batman, the eight animated series from back in the day. The OG animated series of Superman and Batman. Oh God, those shows cannot be topped. Well, maybe they can, but I don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> but I really love that the animation in that particular sequence. You know, it looked just like the original cartoon did from back in the 90s. Oh, this was a visually beautiful, glamorous looking film. You know, I enjoy big ensemble films. In this case, we had an excellent ensemble cast of the Looney Tunes. I will say this for this movie. I know a lot of people are crapping on this movie for different reasons, but I will say this. This Toon Squad is was way more consistent than the original predecessor. That's right, in the original Space Jam, it was hard to keep track of which characters were actually on the Toon Squad team. In this movie, the squad was way smaller, but it made it that much more easier to know who was actually playing and on the team. And I knew everybody except the big red puffy guy. I don't remember his name. In fact, I don't even know if I've even known his name, but it was funny to see him there because he's a very recognizable character, like all the recognizable characters that were in this movie. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. For a minute there, I really did think they killed Bugs Bunny for real, which I thought, damn, that's kind of dark for a kid's film. And then I heard his voice. I'm like, oh, thank goodness there he is. And he's up to vacation in LA with the rest of the Looney Tunes. Ah, uh, it was a fun movie. It was a fun way to spend the afternoon. And I hope you and yours get to enjoy it as much as I did. What did you think of this movie? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on it. Let me know down below. Are you an original fan of the OG Space Jam? Did you like this movie? Why or why not? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. Space Jam A New Legacy is now playing in theaters and on HBO Max for the next month. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.